Hello, my lovelies. How the bloody hell are you? I have just decided to go randomly live to speak to the doulas, the coaches, the hypnobirthing teachers, the heart-led entrepreneurs out there who are afraid of tooting their own horn, who are afraid of blowing their own trumpet. If you are somebody who thought, Mm, am I being braggy? Am I like being a bit too much? This is for you, my friends. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, darling. Hi, Sally. How are you doing? So I'm going to get straight into it because I'm not going to be on here for long. I just thought I'm just going to fucking go live and talk about this now. I had a session, a one-to-one -one session with an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous human being this morning. Gorgeous human being, doula, hypnobirthing teacher, all round sensational like individual and I have lots of conversations like this I'm so fucking lucky and one of the things that she was saying hello bonjour 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 how we doing toot toot beep beep this is what we're going to be talking about so in this conversation this morning one of the things that came up was they were celebrating something. They were celebrating a win and, and they were actually celebrating a client of theirs saying to them, oh my God, you were right. The things that you showed me, the things that you revealed to me, the, the things that you like, not gave me access to, but like opened my eyes to, it worked. Like it worked and it had a transformative effect on me and my story. I'm not going to like go into the details of it, but ultimately it was this amazing celebration and testimonial that was being given to this person. Now, an old version of her would not have even gone and celebrated that publicly because it would have been too braggy. It would have been too show off -y. It would have been taking up too much space effectively, which like... I do have men in my world doing my programs, working with, with me one-to-one, -one. but honestly, the majority of the people that I'm working with are female. And we're told not to take up too much space, not to brag, not to, to be like essentially celebrating who we are. Just be a little bit humble. I don't know. Does that like resonate with anybody? By the way, if you're watching this, say hello. Like, make sure that you like, even if you're not watching it after, right live. Can't get my words out. I'm so excited. Even if you are watching this back later, please like put a little emoji, a heart, say hi, all that kind of a thing. Because it just, I love when I when I know that people have seen this shit. Because once I've uploaded it, all these comments are going to disappear because Instagram's bollocks ah oh, little love heart from sammy oh Suze, how are you doing so we're told continually especially as females but i think that this is a societal narrative anyway not to brag and we we, I th we need to be doing more of it we absolutely need to be doing more of it so this person shared and then she felt that she needed to go back on and caveat all of that with, um, but you know, it wasn't me and all of that stuff. And this is another thing that I am seeing time and time over. And I want to like bust this myth now and separate it out for once and for all. If you've trained as a doula, one of the, and especially if you've trained like, with, like I used to work for Nurturing Birth, training doulas there. I did my training with Nurturing Birth. I have, I've also been connected to Developing Doulas who are sensational as well. But any, what I would say, like reputable, respectable, like doula preparation course training, it's so much more than learning the information that you're going to be imparting to people. It's like a real journey of self-discovery becoming a doula. And one of the things that's hammered home, that I'm not sure is hammered home necessarily in all other kind of like birth work type stuff, birth coaching and, and, and what, have you, what have you, is that you don't send to yourself in someone else's story. And I absolutely 100% agree. That is 
that is so necessary to know when you are basically operating from a place of whose story is this? Is this my story that's impacting the way that I'm delivering this information, the way that I'm supporting people and so on, right? That's a whole thing. But the, the very sort of like basic crux of that is do not centre yourself in someone else's experience. And 100% that is true. But what I see happening with doulas, sorry, I need to put my do not disturb on because I'm getting loads of messages and I forgot to put it on. Go away, people. Um, what I see happening is that essentially doulas, hello, my gorgeous one, doulas who are taught quite rightly not to center themselves in other people's experiences and i'm not sure that hypnobirthing teachers are always taught that um will think that that means that they cannot center themselves in their business and guess what you can and you should you, you like centering yourself in terms of your brand and what you're offering your expertise your authority and all of those things is necessary that doesn't mean that you are centering yourself in people's actual experience of your um of your doula support of your even if you you know i see this more with like doulas who are also hypnobirthing teachers of your hypnobirthing courses you're not centering yourself and your experience in that but in your like marketing of you, in your branding of you, in presenting yourself to potential clients, you have to center yourself. And part of that is celebrating the fuck out of your achievements. And when you've been able to like support people to access whatever it is that you're supporting them to access. And in this particular case, this doula had supported somebody through one of her hypnobirthing courses to access masses of confidence and it had impacted their birth they they came and went you were right this shit works you get to celebrate that she gets to celebrate that in her business and it does not take any power away from that person it doesn't take any power away from them so my request to you today in this short live is celebrate the fuck out of you Celebrate the fuck out of you and know that that does not diminish other people. You are not saying without me, you cannot. You get to be the bridge between the information and the transformation that's available on the other side for people. Celebrate that. So after I, after I received that, after we had this one-to-one, -one, let me just have a drink, drink of my coffee. I'm absolutely fucking buzzing today. I, I, I'm proper like my energy is, woo! Um... So after I, after we had that conversation and at the end of like, we were strategizing and we we're talking about lo loads of other things and we we're talking about launching and like we were getting in the business zone and then it was like, what do you think about this? And we had the conversation that I've just talked about and I'm like, it is our absolute duty to two our horns, to take up space, to be too big, to be all over that shit. So I took it to another group that I'm in with some of the most sensational people on the planet and I shared it in there and the reply here and I'm going to read it and I don't even know if she's still on this but she was on the live at the beginning that somebody in that amazing group said to me was this is so motivating and so inspiring when we all share our wins as well as the harder times because we can see each other's journeys so you sharing your wins is not centering yourself in someone else's story. It is It is part of building your brand, part of building your authority. It, it, it's necessary to center yourself in your business because it's your business that you're centering yourself in, not in someone else's experience. But also, just on a bigger, wider level, you celebrating you, you standing in your own bigness, you taking up space, gives someone else permission to do the same. And it's about time more of us fucking did that. So that's what I wanted to say today. That's what I wanted to bring to you today. Or at all, at the same time, by the way, as I was telling that to this group and they were like, yes. I was getting messages back from that other person. So I'm also completely telepathic and there are no coincidences. And everybody listening to this, this is exactly what you needed to hear, isn't it? 
I know it is. You needed to hear that it was okay to take up space. You needed to hear that it was okay for you to celebrate the fuck out of yourself. You needed to hear that it was okay to toot your horn and blow your trumpet. Can I get a toot toot beep beep? If you're going to go out there and toot your horn and blow your prum trumpet, trumpet or your crumpet from now on, I want you to commit to it here. So what emojis can we do? Trumpets, cars, celebration, champagne, popping, all the things. So toot toot beep beep, I'm going to leave it there. I'm so glad that you toot toot, but you are toot toot beep beeping, my darling. So I hope that was helpful. And I know it was exactly what you needed to hear. And if it was, let me know. And uh, I'm going to finish my coffee. I'm going to go and get my eyebrows done, ready for Sicily. Going to Sicily on Sunday, which I can't fucking wait for. I'm ready to switch off and chip out. Um, and yeah, I love you all. I think you're all amazing. Take up loads of space. Be big, be bold, be too much. And yeah, have a fantastic afternoon. Lots of love. Bye.